Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Elohah Kodash Da'abalana, sent to the Elder Apostles, a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now I was thinking about something, right? As I was, you know, reading the scriptures and just laying in bed. And I thought to myself, like, well, let me make a video. Because you have heard from Esau that said that uh, there is free will. You can choose whatever you want to do in life. Well, is there free will according to the Bible? Yes, and also no. Because the Most High can, he, if He sees fit for you to actually do something that He wants, you're not going to fight against Him. You're going to do what He w desires for you to do. And if you want to do something, and the Most High says like, mm, you know, this sorry. He he can also make you like, like he can also make you basically to get destroyed, but he can also make you to actually be saved, even though you basically wanted to destroy yourself. And he can actually actually turn you around and save you. You know he can do that, and he did it for example with him. Jeremiah chapter twenty verse nine. If you read the old chapter, Jeremiah was actually angry, kind of. He was angry at the Lord. He was like, you know what? No, I don't want to do this no more, man. I just want to live a normal life. Leave me alone. Jeremiah chapter twenty verse nine. Then said I, I will not make mention of him. So I'm like, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't mentioning the Most High Yahweh, his word, his name anymore, nor speak any more in his name. He, I, I'm not representing you anymore. But his word was in my heart, mind. As a burning fire shut up in my bones, <laughs> he could, he, he, it, 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 it wanted to get out, and I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. He couldn't even rest. He couldn't even be stable. He couldn't even, you know, you have certain certain type of people. They call it antsy, like you got ants in your pants. You can't sit still. They biting you. Ah, ah. You, you can't sit still. Yeah, he he couldn't forbear it. He couldn't restrain it. That's like trying to restrain a water buffalo. That's like trying to restrain a water buffalo with a rope. Oh, which you What the hell is this? What the hell is that? Damn. Albino. No, that isn't. That's leprosy, man. That's crazy. Anyway. Yeah. That's like trying to restrain this little this little dude over here. This little this little man over here. Right? It's like trying to restrain him with a rope. <laughs> You're not going to. Well, that's how the word was in, was within Jeremiah. He couldn't stop it. So did he have free will at that particular moment in time? No, because he didn't want to do it. So, like I said, the Most High can give it to you or he can take it from you. You know? Oh, yeah, let me get that too because uh, just like the book of Jeremiah. Hey, what, what, what did I have here? Right, sorry. Right, sorry. So, I um, yeah. So um, yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Now, yeah. Basically, let me do this again. Uh, Job. Yeah. So, is there a free will? Yes and no in the scriptures. So I'm gonna read a few examples for you to make you see. Jeremiah chapter thirty-three, verse fifteen. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep followed upon men. In slumberings upon the bed. Then he, the Heavenly Father, openeth the ears of men, which is your mind, and sealeth their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose. Let's say tomorrow you wanted to go do something, but then when the day comes, you know, you get, you take a nap, you go to sleep, and then uh, the following day, all of a sudden, you feel a different type of way and you don't go where you wanted to go. Let's say you have been preparing for it for like 10 weeks. I don't know. Maybe longer, maybe shorter. But when that day comes, all of a sudden, you don't feel like going. Yeah, the most time could do that. Or you f you still feel the, feel the go, but then a storm or something comes. Well, that's actually, um, he didn't determine your mind, but he did break your path. And I'm going to get to that also. He did break up your path to where you couldn't walk that way. Or he might just, you know, make you think of something else. And then you want to go do something else now, you know, for example, and hide pride from man. 
he can do that for me also you know because a proud for man is most likely not going to make it so he can actually humble you because the lord will humble you and then therefore you're not going to be proud anymore because if he lets you loose and doesn't chastise you then you're going to be proud and then therefore you might fall pride comes before a fall so what he wants to what he could do is for example he did that here um hosea 13 i think yeah Hosea 13 and 1 when Ephraim spake trembling so when he 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 when he spake trembling he was afraid of the Lord because it says here uh, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction and instruction of the Bible right when Ephraim spake trembling when he feared the Lord he was exalted he, he sorry he exalted himself in in israel why because of his fear therefore he was exalted because the most high he he exalted and he make it base uh, well if you exalt yourself then you know you you will be made base but the most high is the one that exalts you for those who exalt themselves will be humbled. Yeah, but uh, you here. I got this. Uh, Twenty-four. Matthew twenty. Here, here. This one I want. Matthew twenty-three and twelve. And whosoever shall exalt himself, shall be abased. So he didn't do that. He trembled. He 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 feared the Lord. That's why he got ex exalted by the Lord. <laughs> yeah, and he that shall humble himself, shall be exalted by the heavenly Father you humble yourself the most high is going to put you on a high position he's going to exalt you it doesn't necessarily mean a high position right because if you look at the elder apostles on down well in the eyes of the rest of the people of the earth they are to be spit upon yeah but uh in the eyes of the lord it's a very different case they are exalted but not in the glory that we're that they're going to be but a spiritual man will look at them and see like yeah the most high is dealing with them you know what i'm saying okay so that part so going back to mm, no here yeah. so and hide pride from men because he doesn't want you too proud he will humble you if you are too proud and he still likes you then he's going to humble you as a lesson like don't do that again Right, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Man's going are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So, the way that you are is of the Lord. Because he fashioned us. He fashioned all of us. Right? And you can understand that here. He created us. Job chapter 10, verse 7. Thou knowest that I am not wicked. And there is none that can deliver out of thine hand. Thine hand have made me and fashioned me together round about. Yet thou destroyest me. Thou doth destroy me. That's what he did with Job. You know, because he basically make it, made a bet with Satan. And then he said like, <coughs> sorry. And then he said like, can you destroy my man Job? I know you can't. And basically then the Most High said like, okay, you can do whatever you want with him, but just don't kill him. So Satan went down and killed his whole family took away his wife all that that type of stuff gave him sores and boils all over his body but in the end he had more than he had when the most high came to him right in the end he had he he, he had double what he got let me see where was that again joke 42 maybe <coughs> yeah 42 and 12 so Yahweh blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and 2,000 yoke, so, and, sorry, and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she asses. He also, sorry, he had also seven sons and three daughters. So he gave him more than he had when the Lord first touched him through Satan. Right, so it says here, Job 10 and, and 9. Remember, I beseech thee that thou hast made me as the clay, and, and will thou bring me into dust again if he wants to? Oh, yeah. So, 
So it says here, has thou not poured me out as milk and curdled me like cheese? Basically, this is a process. And our body is a process. That uh, It took a process because it shows you also that... Uh, Uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 11 and 5 as thou knowest not what the way of the spirit is, what what the what of the wow blah, blah, blah. as thou knowest not knowest not what is the way of the spirit nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that it was that is with child even so thou knowest not the work of the heavenly father who make it all so first you're water and then you become bone and flesh you don't know how that works you have a kind of understanding about it but you don't actually really you can't do that you can't do that yourself you can't do it yourself you do it you can imitate it like esau can imitate it but he himself cannot do that process because it's, it's already done so you can't do something that he already did you know he created it already you can't create it you can only imitate it with with his clones and his uh growing things from cells and stuff like that esau can do it because the most High gave him that that knowledge right but there's many things that esau cannot do he can't fly for example I mean the body he can use a plane he can use the materials of the planet earth like like sink iron and all those type of things electricity cables to make the plane have electricity and also guide the electricity with copper because there's copper in planes too and, and and they're laced with they're covered with iron and all those type of things you know glass also made from the earth because he has his windshields sorry his windows you know stuff like that thou hast clothed me with skin and flesh and has fenced me with bones and sinew like i said this is a process because curdled cheese here is this it takes it, it's a process before you make this and then before you know before it becomes like this it would be like this but you can make it pure white and stuff like that. You can make it like that. But it's a process. Well, the same thing goes for making a man, making a human being. It's a whole process. Thou hast clothed me. Okay, I already read that. Thou hast granted me life and favor. And thy visitation had preserved my spirit. Because if he's close to you, he's going to keep you alive. If he hides himself from you, you're going to get destroyed by Satan. And he has favor upon us. For example, here, Psalms chapter 8, verse 4. Now I'll start at 3. When I considered thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, because the Most High did all that, and you should consider it. You're looking at it, you'd be like, wow, man, this is crazy. The Most High made all that. For thou hast made him, oh, sorry, verse 4. What is man? That thou art mindful of him. So why do you even care about our people? Because he has favor upon us. That's why. Why do you even care about man? You have far more greater things than man. You have angels, for example. You know? And the angels exceed in might, strength. And they're basically perfect because, you know, they do the will of the Lord perfectly. They don't fight against them. Satan is not fighting against the Lord. If you read Job chapter 1, he's actually following the words of the Lord. Because if the Lord said, don't kill him, he don't kill him. He can't go like, no, you know what, I want to kill him. He didn't kill Job because the Lord told him to. He told you can do everything you want except take his life. You can read Job chapter 1 and Job chapter 2 for that. Right. And the son of man, that thou, should, uh, thou, that thou visited him. So why are ye near unto them? Basically, what are we that you are close to us? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angel, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thine hands, the animals and the, the trees and all that, that type of stuff, water, all the elements that you can use, the gold, silver, iron, copper, anything. We're, we're ruling over them. 
the copper cannot tell you like hey listen check this out i don't want you to actually use me to guide electricity in in some kind of equipment like a television i don't want you to do that no we have rulership and authority over you yeah thou has put all things under his feet all sheep and oxen yea all the beasts of the field the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea and whatsoever passeth through the path of the seas we have rulership over that basically except for leviathan <laughs> that's that's explained in the book of job chapter 40 or was it 41 one of those two oh yahweh our power lord how excellent is thy name in all the earth i think it was job 41 yeah yeah it's 41 yeah here he's telling man can thou put canst thou put a hook into his nose or bore his jaw through with a thorn will he make so many supplications unto thee like is he going to beg for for peace and mercy will he speak soft words unto thee no leviathan is not going to do that can thou draw out leviathan with a hook are you going to fish him out the water or his tongue with a cord which thou let us down right like a like a trap like a fish trap you know you, you this is a fish net or a hook basically and uh, this is a cord like a fishing thing you know you're not gonna do that with a worm and stuff like that in his mouth lay thine hand upon him remember the battle do no more <laughs> you can't fight against leviathan anyway so yeah so not not a hundred percent of the things in the in the water we can we have rulership over but yeah so the most high basically he destroys you if he wants to because He's the one that made Job go through all those things, right? Because he said, Job chapter 9, so it says also here, Thy visitation had preserved my spirit within his body so that he doesn't die. And how does he do that? Because he's with you. If he's not with you, then it, too bad. Job chapter 9, verse 22, This is one thing, therefore I said it. He, the Heavenly Father, destroyed the perfect, and the wicked job was perfect it says it literally in the book of job chapter one job chapter one verse one there was a man in the land of Uz, which is in the land of aram which is uh there in the place of mesopotamia and all those type of things uh, th that region over there syria that whole region is called aram whose name was job and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared the heavenly father that's why he got that wisdom because if you fear the lord the lord is going to be with you and excuse evil he had he didn't want to have nothing to do he avoided like the plague he abstained for it abstain abstained from it yeah so he excused evil and he was perfect and upright and still thou moves uh, the lord moved to destroy him because it says it right here Job 10 8 thine hand hath made me and fashioned me together round about yet thou doth destroy me because you know because he wants it so it says here Job 9 21 this is one thing therefore I said it he destroyed the perfect and the wicked if the scourge slay suddenly he will laugh at the trial of the innocent so if if Job would have died the most high would have laughed but you know he didn't die and he went through some things, man. Job, Job went through some horrible things in the physical form and mentally. You know, he lost all his children by death. He lost his wife because she wasn't really down with him anyways. He, she was only there because he was rich and had money and all that, that type of stuff. And she was a good woman in the beginning. And then everything started to happen to him. And she even said, basically, curse the most high and die. And then she left He's like, fuck it, I'm going to find me a real man. A man that the Lord loves, so I can love him. If the Lord don't love you, I don't love you neither. And she left. That's not a loyal female. You know, that's not a loyal woman. That's a that's an opportunist. Right, so, but back to the, do you have free will? So I was just giving this as, as an example, an extra example. So going back to the book of Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's going nor of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Proverbs 16.1 The preparation of the heart in man 
and the answer of the tongue is of the Lord. Because even the Lord said here, mm, do not worry what don't worry what ye shall say. Mm, no, not this one. Here. Matthew chapter 10, verse 19. But when they deliver you up to be destroyed, that they snitch on you, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in the in this in that same hour when ye, when ye shall speak. So when they bring you in front of men to get destroyed, for the word's sake, Matthew ten and and uh, seventeen. No, I start at sixteen. Behold, I sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the to the councils. And will scourge you in their synagogues. They're going to beat you. They're going to deliver you up to be beaten or locked up. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how and what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour when ye shall speak. So that shows you that if the Most High is with you, he's going to speak for you, through you. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father, which is in, which is which is in heaven. Sorry, let me read it again. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father, which speaketh in you, through you. You know, so that's one part over there that basically he, he prepares things for you if he's with you. And if he's not, then he's going to make you crumble upon your own words. Now it says here, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, a man's heart devised its way, but the heavenly father directed his steps. Romans chapter 8 verse 22 for the creature was made subject to vanity we are the creature not willingly it's not like you want to do vain things but by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope the most high is the one that actually made us subject so lower basically you're, you're bowing your head let me see something hmm. Here, bring a person or country under one's control. So basically, we are brought under control through the flesh of our body because the spirit is willing, but the flesh, though that's the one that's actually fighting. So and and it's fighting for vain things like yo, just 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 let me look at this girl, but but she's literally with her boyfriend right there. No 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 no, just just one look. I'm not, I'm not having sex, right? Come on, man, just just, just let me. Let me glance, man. Just throw your head over there, and I'm gonna just look with these fleshly eyes and stuff like that. No, because the Lord said that you know your spirit is talking to you, your body. Like no, the Lord said like uh, that's 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 adultery in in the spirit. He did lust after a woman by looking after looking at her committed adultery within his heart already. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be lusting. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm just I'm just looking. Just 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 look. Throw, throw, throw your head on that side, man. No. But, no, I'm stronger than you. Fuck that shit. <clears throat> force. <laughs> then you, he wants to force you to look. But you know the spirit is strong too. If if the flesh, if the flesh is more willing to listen to the spirit, but he actually fights against him in his mind, then you can still conquer it. But it's all good. You know the Lord is going to preserve us. You know his elect, of course, that are trying to fight against the the wicked flesh. Sometimes your mind is wicked too, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse uh, 23. Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Because you don't, really, if you think about it. Now, I have a few other scriptures that will show you that, yeah, we have, we have uh, free will to a certain degree, because it says it right here. Um, let me see these three scriptures four four sorry four uh, which one shall I read uh, I'll, I'll read this one Leviticus chapter 22 verse 18 speak unto Aaron and to his sons and unto all the children of Israel and say unto them whosoever he be of the house of Israel or of the strangers in, in Israel which is the Israelite foreigners but you had actual real strangers living among us let me see which word this one is actually Leviticus 22, 18. Is if it's Gar, 
then it's uh, our people. If it's Nakar, then it's uh, the heathen nations. But if, if I'm correct, it was Gar. Here, let me see. Strangers. Yeah, it's Gar. It's, it's the Israelite foreigner strangers. Though conceded rights. So a foreigners in Israel, though conceded rights. Who has the right to have land in Israel? Only the Israelites. You can get that by reading, for example, the book of Numbers, chapter 27, and also Numbers, chapter 36. It will show you that the 12 tribes, which is this one here. Let me see which one. Table of, no, no, no. Mm, th this one. The 12 tribes, see the regions that they have? Well, I could get another one. Uh, wait, I got it right here. No, 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 I got it right here. No, no. No, I don't. Anyway, you see this region that Simeon has? You see this region that uh, Judah has? You see this region that Dan has? Benjamin, Ephraim, Gad, Reuben, Manasseh, Issachar, Zebulon, Asher, Naphtali. And where's Dan? Oh, yeah, I already read that. Dan. So, yeah. So, uh, why do I pull this? It's because... A Judite is not allowed to have land here in the midst of Simeon. That's explained here. In Numbers 27 and also Numbers chapter 36. Numbers chapter 36 is the whole chapter, but Numbers chapter 27 stops with 11. And then the rest goes forth into other, you know, topics and stuff like that. But it stops at 11. But you can read the whole chapter and then it's all good. But Numbers 36 is the the whole chapter is talking about that because verse 17, so shall not the, so shall so shall not the inheritance of the children of Israel remove from tribe to tribe, for every one of the children of Israel shall keep himself to the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. So we were not allowed to take land from one another. So therefore, the heathen nations are hundred percent no two. 200% not allowed, two times fold not allowed to have land within the land of the nation of Israel. You, you're not allowed. So when it says here, of foreigners in Israel, though conceded rights, conceded means admit or agree that something is true after first denying or resisting it. That's actually what they did, but I'm looking at that thing like, why is it so small? That's weird. I don't know. I don't know why. It is on it. So, oh, oh. That's why I was thinking like, huh? Okay, okay. Is this is it too big? That's that's weird. Okay, I don't know. Okay, cool. But this one is supposed to be a hundred, right? Yeah. Mm, I guess we could do it anyway. Uh, you know what? On it, on it. Right. So, but this one. Okay, let me just leave that. But yeah, so though conceded right, so it says like um, in the beginning, the Israelite, the Israelite Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that was called Jews, they didn't like the Israelite foreigners coming up in this truth. They didn't like that. But in the beginning, they denied it. But after a while, they started to see that that is the truth. But not, but the, but the, the the minority of them started to see it. You know the the majority of the Pharisees and Sadducees, they didn't see it, but the, a small portion of the, the Pharisees and Sadducees did see it, just like how they believed also in Yahweh Shai. So, not all Pharisees and Sadducees hated Yahweh Shai, but a big bulk of them, especially the ones at the top, because they knew that if he comes, they're not going to be worshipped anymore by their own people, because they wanted them to worship them. The high um, Israelites at ranking status and stuff like that, because cause they say it here. I'm, I'm just... Uh, here, in the book of uh, John. I always say that. Sorry. So it says here, John chapter 11, verse 47. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we do? For this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, if we just leave him alone like that, doing all these miracles... All men will believe on him, and the Romans, the Caucasians, shall come and take away both our place and nation. That's why you got guys like El Sharpton 
or Al Charlatan. Sharp Tong. I forgot his real name. Yeah, Al Sharp Tong. That's why you got guys like this being set up by Esau. And what does he come to do? He comes to basically tranquilize you. Like he's a tra tranquilicus. Or, or, or I don't even know how you say that name, but I, I know what it. I have it in my head. Not the one that, that closes his mouth <laughs> and then the puppet speaks. No. Basically, <clears throat> he's a tranquilizer, dude. He comes to soften the blow in order for Jake not to go rampant and try, you know, try and get fight against Esau and stuff like that. They always got guys like this set up, you know, these bishops and all that, that type of stuff. These so-called black leaders of America and stuff like that. Yeah, black leaders and stuff like that. No, 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 no. That's that's a that's a, a Hamite dude. You got guys like this. You got you know, all these. That that's a that's a Hamite. That's not our people. And this is not your leader. None of these females are leaders, okay? They're put in the leader position, which is the book of Isaiah chapter, I think, two or three. Women shall rule over you. So, And who did that? Esau. Because these females have no power. Have you seen what happened in Haiti when the earthquake uh, hit? These females was crying onto the caucus, please help us. They're taking all our food. I thought you were strong, though. I'm, 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 I'm just saying that you were strong. I'm just giving you an example of a fact. I didn't say if that was right or wrong. I gave you the example of a fact. Because what, what will the other men do? They will try and protect these women. But they're more of those men than of you. Because you are you're, you got women around you. They got 100% men as robbers coming to get you. You think you're going to win? They're like 50 men deep, 50, 60 men deep. Maybe even 100 plus. Coming to get the food in your houses and stuff like that. And you got like what, uh, uh, thirty men, and then like what, uh, three hundred women, and they got a hundred men. You're dying. Yeah, that's hundred percent. Well, not hundred percent. If most size with you, you're winning. But <laughs> we shall see. Anyway, so the Romans came and take away their place in the nation. That's why you see these guys. They don't want to give up that life. They don't want to give up that. You got these 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 guys, Umar. They don't want to give up that life. Why is he? He's an African dude. He's a Pan-African believer. Why is his message not, let's get our own state. Let's get our own country. Let's go back to Africa. Why is he not pushing that? So we can make our own economy. So we can police ourselves. We can govern ourselves. We can uh, school ourselves, house ourselves, job ourselves. That's not in his head. He's thinking of them dollars. Because he knows that he goes if he goes back to Africa, his his value and his uh, the status of his being of him being worshipped will greatly diminish, because people over there ain't looking for this so-called savior to come and help them. No, the, the slave descendants are looking at him like that because he has this status and this rank. But anyway, he's just doing what the Lord told him to do. So, and, and the Lord is going to destroy you too. So. Who shall fight against him even though he set you up to get destroyed be like yeah but you made me like this <laughs> yeah because i know you you're a demon so i'm gonna put more spirits on you to do what i want for you to do so i may destroy you later on and them also but yeah anyway so they didn't want that so going back to over here they don't want that the leaders of our people do not want the lord jehovah to rule or that the people should follow the lord jehovah and not them because they want to be worshipped they want to be in that high position so that they can dictate unto you it's like an addiction a lot of people in america for example they they love to say like okay and um yeah money changes people no money doesn't change people it's uh, money brings out the things that are within you i'm like shut the fuck up he's still changed man because if he didn't have it he wouldn't be like that so it's still a form of change so whatever you say that's not correct because certain people are very humble in the beginning and then once they start to get that money and stuff like that then then you know they start to see the power they start to see the things and that might change a man yeah it's not about that that some okay some people have it within them yeah 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 whatever but it's not always the case like that man and most of the time it's not it's just the money changes you man that's why you had that song back in the day, back in the days don't let money change you you know uh, money, 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 money. You have two. You have one from New Jack City. 
Don't let money change you. Uh, I'm not sure if it's. Uh, no, no, that's not gonna. I'm not listening to that dude. I, I never listened to him, but yeah. Um, New Jack City. But there's two of them. For the love of money. Yeah, living in the city. But the other one was Don't Let Money Change You. Yeah, let me get the lyrics, actually. I don't want to get that copyright strike bullshit, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, don't let money change your lyrics. It says here, don't let money change you or something like that. Let me see. Yeah, that's a great song. Money change people sometimes. Yeah, don't let money change you. Yeah, that's it. That's what I want. But anyway, I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. This is a dope-ass song, I'm telling you. Right, so. Yeah, the old school uh, is dope, right? Okay, so yeah, it just changed you, so that could happen, and that's why you you should pray not to be too rich and not to be too poor, because if you're too rich, you're not gonna think about the Most High, and if you're too poor, you're not gonna think about the Most High, because you're gonna think about food, and you're probably gonna be angry that you're homeless and stuff or poor, and if you're rich, you you're not gonna be looking at the Most High. If you are in the middle, then you're gonna look for a spiritual thing to be in your life or you in their life, I should say. Then therefore. But anyway, so yeah, that part. So let me stick to the plan because I'm kind of all over the place yet once more again. Okay, I said this all up, but I'm not going to read everything. I hope you can read it for yourself. I'm going to jump, jump, jump a little bit over it. So it says here, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is that unrighteousness with the Heavenly Father? Yeah, the Heavenly Father forbid. For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom, on whom I will have compassion. So then it's not, it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it. You're not running the show, and you don't want anything. But of the Heavenly Father that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for this purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout the earth. So the Most High raised you up, to make everybody look up to you like man they're, they're the he's the greatest he's the god upon the planet earth and then he comes to destroy you because he made pharaoh greater than pharaoh already was because uh jo he set up joseph to break down that dream and therefore there was seven years of fatness and seven years of lean which is famine and then pharaoh had everything and then joseph cost Joseph, uh, Genesis chapter 47, verse 20, and Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh, for the Egyptians showed every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them. So the land became Pharaoh's. Right. Now the land was in grabs for one man. Back in the days, everybody had their portions of land. For example, here. Here, let's say this was somebody's land. All these squares that you see in these triangles or red and red rectangles, whatever. You know, every everything was uh, of a person. This was maybe for family A. This was maybe for family B, C, D, E, whatever. All that there, and then and then maybe Pharaoh had like uh, this whole portion over here because he's a, he's a, he's already rich, but he didn't really have that one because everybody had their individual thing. Oh shit! I didn't even notice that. Yeah, everybody had like, he had like, you know, maybe he had this or something like that. And then everybody had their individual thing or whatever. And then through the famine, now they had to sell their land in order for him to be, him to give them food. So now he has all the land. So that's exactly what Esau has right now. You can't just go on a place anywhere in the Netherlands, for example, and start basically building your own thing and say he's gonna arrest you like what are you doing over here you're not allowed to chop down these trees in order for you to make a make a make houses and stuff like that or a road what do you this is my land so that's what pharaoh gained in those days but who, who made him gain that joseph did and and who did that who, who set up joseph for him to be able to do that the most high so the Most High made him great. And for that sake, so now he was greater than he was ever before. And then the Most High smacked him down, right? To show everybody, like, look, he's, he's greater than he is now, right? Okay, now watch me kill him. Okay, right. So it says here, Therefore had he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and on whom he will he harden it. He can harden your heart. So did Pharaoh have free will? Pharaoh wanted to let the people go. Uh, Your Lord, 
here. Uh, Pharaoh said he didn't want to obey, but then he got scared. Here, 28, Exodus 8, verse 28. And Pharaoh said, I will let you go, that ye may sacrifice to the Lord your power in the wilderness. Only ye shall not go very far away and treat, of, and treat for me. So basically, he didn't want to let him go. But the Lord said unto, unto Moses, I will harden his heart that he won't even want that no more. Now, let me see. There, there's many more scriptures. That's not exactly, exactly the one that I want. But... Uh, the other one was that. Yeah, it was in verse 8 then. Yeah, wait. Here, verse 8. Verse 8. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord. Basically, uh, be beg for me, the Lord that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go, that they may do sacrifice unto the Lord. But if you read further on, Moses went and told the Lord, and then the Lord told him, no, I'm going to harden his heart. Go back unto him. <laughs> Stuff like that, you know. So he hardened his heart. So did he have free will? No, he didn't. Right. I wanted to read all this, but I'm looking at the time. I'm like, okay, cool. I talked too much. Uh, I don't have a problem with it, but I wanted to make a small video. So uh, you can read the rest for yourself to show you, you know, uh, you know what? I I'll do it until an hour. Let's just go on. I'll, I'll keep it with it. I wanted to do it short, but I, I don't matter. It don't matter. So let me read on. Verse 19. Thou wilt say unto me, who doth he find? What? Sorry. So the most high heart on your heart, if he feels like it, right? Thou wilt then say unto me, Why doth he yet find fault for who had resisted his will? Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against the heavenly Father? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Had not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor Jacob, and another unto dishonor Esau? For what of the heavenly father willing to show his wrath and to make his power known which he did with pharaoh he made his power known by making pharaoh great and then <laughs> stomping him out endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction esau is that vessels vessels of wrath fitted to destruction and that he make he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which is jacob here mercy on Jacob which is let me see I thought I will have mercy on Jacob that's one I was actually looking for another one I think it's Malachi Malachi 3 6 yeah for I am the Lord I change not therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed he's not gonna wipe you out as Jacob the son the sons of Jacob are not gonna be exterminated but who are the vessels fitted for destruction with no mercy? Um, there's so many, man. Uh, Job 20, Numbers 24, you know. Hebrews 12, 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance. Though he saw that carefully with tears. Malachi chapter 1 also. Anyway, uh, 1 and 4. Uh, Obadiah chapter 1, 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord had spoken it. So there is no mercy for Esau. Malachi 1, 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. So Edom is representative of the, their whole nation. We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. But the Lord, but thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the heavenly father had the indignation forever. <clears throat> so the most I don't like you. Um, there's so many scriptures now. I said, I do me all four of them. I'm not going to read all four of them, but uh, you can read it for yourself. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse, uh, let me see, 5. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh the power, surely in my fire, in the, jeal in the fire of my jealousy, have I spoken against the residue of the heathen that are going to be left over after uh, they, they get butchered. 
and against 100% of the Edomites and against all Idumea. So against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumea, all Edomites, 100% of them, which I have appointed, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it for a prey. So here, here, Ezekiel, I wasn't even looking for that one. I'm a mistake. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 15 as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate so will I re so will I do unto thee thou shalt be desolate O Mount Seir and all I do me even all of it hundred percent of the Edomites no matter where they are and they shall know that I am Yahweh the Lord has a slaughter in the land of Idumea and, it, and his sword shall come down upon Idumea so all of the Edomites are gonna get it hundred percent of them none of them will escape so the most high has a purpose that these are the people of his curse the edomites the israelites are under curses they're not the cursed people so who's the vessels fitted to destruction esau and who are the vessels of mercy jacob which he had afore prepared unto glory let me read it again romans 9 and 23 and that, he, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Even us, we, the Israelites, are prepared unto glory, whom he had called, not only of the Jews, sorry, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Now you might say, like, wait a minute, so Esau's in there. That's what a lot of people say. It must be because it says the Gentiles. So this is, this is obsolete. This is not real anymore. Please, please, let it not be real. Please, please, please. Esau have I hated. No, no, but it's said the Gentiles. It's said the Gentiles. Anyway, 25. As he saith also, who? The Most High. Also in Hosea, the book of Hosea. I will call them my people. Who? The Gentiles. Which are, which were not my people. And her beloved, which was not beloved. What does that mean? Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. Now you can read these three for yourself if you have the time, but let me read it. Hosea 1 6, and she conceived again and bare a daughter, and, and, and Yahweh said unto him, said unto Hosea, Call her name Loruhama. And what does that mean? For I will no more have mercy on the house upon the house of Israel. That's what the Lord had for a period of time until he sent Yahweh Shai. And then he took that mercy away again, but then later on, wait, well, let me say it better. Um, Yahushai left and then from the rest of the Israelites he took that mercy away but he kept it for the elect 7,000 men that shall not bow the knee to Baal so he kept that perfection and those 7,000 men are the 144,000 men which is a number of completion when you go to the casino and there's a million dollars or euros in that uh, casino box That little box over here. Let's say there's a there's a, like a like a million in it. Huh? Let's say there's a million in here, and you get seven seven seven. You get that whole million. But let's say there's only ten thousand here. Let's say there's only five 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 bucks in here. Then you're gonna get the five bucks. Yeah, I, I'm not a gambler, but yeah, something like that has been. Uh, it's something like that. I mean, you're not going to get, like, back in the days, you had to port coins in here. I don't know if this is connected to the casino thing itself. I don't know that. But I know that if it is a individual box, yeah. Because back in the days, you had snack bars here in the Netherlands. You had snack bars, right? You had a snack bar, right? Let me see here. Yeah, snack, snack bar. The hell is that? Yeah, this. Wow. You had a snack bar. And then back in the days, you had like a machine over here which you can put money in. I'm, I'm kidding you. I'm not kidding you. They actually kind of took it away nowadays. But you had these things back in the days. But that's uh, you had these things. They took it away. It's not allowed anymore if I'm correct. But anyway. So, if it's 
three thousand dollars in there you get the three thousand dollars because that thing is not connected to anything here it's not you're not you're not gonna get money from here or something i don't know if that is what they do in the casino i don't know about that i know about this one you know because i grew up with it i saw people always lose their money in that thing so i always knew for myself i don't want to be a gambler i done I, it's not good people lose their houses and stuff like that crazy shit that's all but anyway you see them here and then if there's like three thousand dollars in here or euros actually well back in the days it was gilded then you would get the three thousand but if it was like 50 in there yeah you get the 50. so look i don't know the rules i'm just telling you what i but from what I think I saw, so I was young, so but uh, anyway, I seen it, and that that made me also choose like I'll never want to be a gambler. That's what I thought. <laughs> but anyway, so mm, first, so no more. Um, yeah, I don't need to read that. Let me leave that. But I will other, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah. Right, so the uh, the first the, the 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 northern tribes, they basically got up out of there. The Most High kicked them at first, but He will have mercy upon Judah, Benjamin and Levi, and will save them by the Lord their power, Yahweh, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. Now, when he when she had weaned Loruhama, she conceived and bare a son. Again, she conceived again. And then the Heavenly Father told uh, uh, Hosea, he, he told Hosea, call his name Loami. Well, and what does that mean? For ye are not my people, and I will not be your power, Yahweh. Verse 10. Yet the number, and that's here. Oops. Well, that's here then. Oh, sorry. That's here. Jo uh, Romans 9.25. As he said also in Hosea, what is OC? It's Hosea. It's Hosea. The the prophet Hosea. OZ or Hosea. O C is the Greek. You translate that from the Greek to the English, it's O C. But if you translate it from the Hebrew to the English, it's Hosea. Right. Right. So uh verse 25 job no 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 romans 9 25 as he said also in the book of hosea i will call them my people which are not my people and her beloved which was not beloved so hosea chapter 1 verse 10 yet the number of the children of israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be numbered nor which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall it be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power, Yahweh. <laughs> so, what is it talking about when it says here? Um, here, sorry. It's talking about the Israelites. Verse 26, And it shall come to pass in the place where it have was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the sons of the living God. The li That's the same thing here. Here. So, uh, so let me read it that in the place where it was said unto them ye are not my people there shall it be said unto them ye are the sons of the living God that's what it says right here that in the place where it was said unto them ye are not my people there shall it be there shall they be called the sons of the living God Isaiah also cried concerning Israel though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea a remnant shall be saved so only a small portion of our people shall be saved uh, Hosea 1 11 then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel which is a nickname for all of us yeah and the 12 tribes uh, will be saved in the end because the Most High is going to uh, restore the breaches he's gonna patch the breaches in the midst of us you know all the dislike and hate that we have for one another uh, but the the but but love esau for example and the other heathen nations you know then uh, you will see that uh, they, they, they will they will get fixed up most i is going to do that so we have free will offering yes but sometimes the most high will block that right 
as for example here um, with the Jeremiah he didn't want to do it but yeah but okay now concerning the false prophets do they have a, a free will mind well Isaiah 66 4 I also will choose their delusion what is a delusion you think something is real but it's not a false belief or judgment about external reality it's a false belief it's a lie I the Heavenly Father will choose their delus delusion and will bring their fears upon them because when I called through his men none did answer when I spake through his men they did not hear but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not for great example this guy what does he do he does the things that the Most High does not delight in for example look here he has okay let me see he has other foods of shrimp and stuff like that eating all manner of abominations like this his last supper uh, let me see here cut down let me see another one hmm tap in I think these are the things that the Lord does not delight in and yet he does it he's always showing off the food and what what type of food are they eating uh -huh. we got corn <coughs> dirty rice more dirty rice we got the ham y'all know what ham pork what's up with that y'all know what's more up with that rice. We got the ham. Y'all know what's up with that. Got baked chicken, more red beans and rice. Two pans of mac and cheese. All right. Bring it on over here. Oh. Okay, enough. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself if you feel like it. The savage is eating. No, no, ask. What's up, family? Um, um, as you can see, this is the Pharisee special. Right, this is the Pharisee special. This, 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 this don't make no sense, bro. He is delusional. This guy is delusional. We got the barbecued oysters. He got he he got barbecued. He got he got barbecued oysters. What you got? Same thing. Crab, you see a fucking crab up in there. They're laughing at him because he ordered the cheeseburger. He probably doesn't even want him. He shouldn't even be around these people. But then again, you choose. You're you're around who you 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 choose to be, my man. So I I'll leave it at that. Well, did he choose? <laughs> You have free will to a certain degree. I mean, can't you figure it out for yourself? But this guy is just, he's gone, man. And uh, here again, you know, he got that uh, shrimp. Shrimp is here. And they're eating it. So he's delusional, right? Yeah. Second Thessalonians 2 11 and for this cause the Heavenly Father sent them strong delusion because they they are breaking his laws They are going against him. So he's gonna make you a nutcase You're gonna be crazy in your own mind without being actually crazy in straitjacket But you belong in one because when I look at him, I'll be like you belong in a straitjacket for teaching that <laughs> That they should believe a lie. So let me read it again second Thessalonians chapter 2 11 and for this cause the Heavenly Father shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Job 12, 14. With him is wisdom, strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. The Most High does that, both to y'all. So do they have uh, an... Uh, uh, what was it again? <laughs> oh, <it's not> free will. <laughs> do they have free will? No, they don't. Because the Most High says, because of for this cause. So you did something for him to be angry at you, to, mm, to, 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 with a hot iron. They have their conscience seared with a hot iron. Yeah? 
First Timothy chapter four, verse one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressively. Now the Spirit is the, the scriptures, the words, these words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And then the, the Spirit itself also like in the Spirit of the Most High, you know, which is the, the scriptures again. Speak it expressively, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. And where do you get those seducing spirits? First Kings 22, if I'm correct. First Kings 22. No, then it's 20. No, I put, I put. First Kings 22. And 